Good afternoon and good evening, whatever it is, guys. I was literally, I just finished my last video, I was about to go down and then this article flashed up and I had to look at it. It looks absolutely wild on the um, on the preface. Guys, I'm going to read this to you in real time because I don't actually know what it means, but Biden to give legal status to 500,000 undocumented spouses. Guys, so I don't know what this means. I'm going to read it in real time with you guys. First things I'm thinking now is, does this mean that they can vote and will they be able to vote in the upcoming election? That's just my thoughts, guys. I don't know what the article is going to say. I'm going to read it with you guys. And I'll put the, um, I'll put the link in the uh, description as well. So, President Joe Biden is set to announce a new policy that would protect hundreds of thousands of undocumented spouses of US citizens from deportation, according to administration officials. So, I'm assuming there, if you've married a, a US citizen, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. If you've married a US citizen, and again, I don't know how that happens, I don't know what the legal system is in America, the first thing I'm thinking though is votes. Uh, this is something I'm, I'm really, I really am watching guys and I'm keeping an eye on this because, you know, this all, you know, we've got this world of conflict at the moment. I don't think Trump's going to stop anything. I don't think he's going to turn anything off. I think the world's, I think we're going the place we're going. But what I think you're seeing now is, you know, the Democrats really trying to claw onto power because I don't, I think they understand that if they lose and it looks like they're going to lose, if they do lose, Trump's going to dig such a big stick and he's going to change the system. Not the wars, we can't stop the wars, we can't stop the conflict that's coming, that's a done deal. But what I think Trump could do is he could really change the system and draw light on two problems that are having, that they're having in America. Guys, when, you're cho when your two choices are Donald Trump or Joe Biden, who would you choose? The issue of immigration has proven an election year headache for Mr. Biden, who recently issued a sweeping executive action to curb record migrant arrivals at the US-Mexico border. So, you know, I, I've got some friends in Texas, you know, and they were telling me about this Operation, uh, is it like Operation Alamo? I, I can't remember what it's called. But basically, the United uh, Texas have militarized their border over the, um, you know, their, their, their border into uh, Mexico. As I remember, they had like, again, guys, I've not planned anything for this video. I'm literally doing it off the cuff. You know, so the uh, Texas had something like, I think it was like six million undocumented migrants coming over the river, it, coming through Texas. Guys, you nobody can say that that is a good thing. Who are these people? What are they bringing with them? What are they doing when they get there? I don't know how the system works in the United States. I don't know if they get money off the government like they do in the UK. I don't know how it works. But guys, it's absolutely wild. When my friends in Texas were telling me, I was like, dude, that is wild. Uh, again, as I understand it, the it was Governor Abbott who was the you would call him we we're set up differently in the UK. Uh, the govern governors in the United States they're like they have their own state military state troopers. Guys, if you're from America and I'm wrong, please tell me. Um, but they have their own military, so they militarized it themselves. And you know, Governor Abbott he quoted something from the U.S. Constitution. Joe Biden sent down fed, the federal military down there to stop it and to get rid of this, um, the stopping of illegals coming in, you know, and I think reading between the lines, because there was kind of a media blackout of it, certainly in the UK, I think they came to a conclusion where American forces are not going to fight with other American forces. And that's how it should be, guys. All right. So that's in a nutshell, my British understanding of American politics. So. The issue of immigration, yeah, I've said that. Uh, the new policy will apply to those who have been in the country for at least 10 years and will allow them to work in the US legally. So how have they been there for 10 years? I don't, I don't know how it works. But what the key thing here, guys, that I'm really worried about, and this is, you know, when I see these articles, they ping to me and I have intuition to look at these articles and I'm like, right, that's got something in it. So I'm reading this for the first time with you. Let me read that again. So it applies to people who've been here for 10 years, who've been in the United States for 10 years 
and will allow them to work in the US legally. Does that mean they can vote? Does that mean they can vote? Because this could be, guys, this could be absolutely catastrophic for America and the world. Uh, the White House believes that more than 500,000 spouses will benefit. So if they've been here for 10 years and married now, will that qualify them? You know what I'm saying, guys? You know, if, they're, if they've been here now and they're marrying, then will they qualify? Can that person get married, get divorced and marry someone else? I, I don't know where the legalities are in this, guys, all right? To me, it's, it, just see, it just seems strange. Mr. Biden has vowed to make the US immigration system more fair and more just. Polls show that the issue is a primary concern for many voters ahead of the presidential poll in November. Why do they call it presidential poll? Surely it's an election. The White House also believes the new spouses policy will benefit 50,000 young people under 21 whose parent is married to an American citizen. So is it 20, 000, is it 50,000 plus, sorry, is it 500,000 plus 50,000? I don't know. This is an article from the BBC, so we don't know how biased it is. Mr. Biden has vowed to make the US immigration, oh, we've done that. Uh, it marks the most significant relief program for undocumented migrants already in the US since the Obama administration announced its deferred action for childhood arrivals. So does that mean, guys, so does this mean in America, an undocumented migrant, does that mean an elite, does that mean they're there illegal or don't we have illegal anymore? The announcement comes ahead of an event on Tuesday marking the 12th anniversary of the uh, previous, of the previous thing that Obama did which shielded 530,000 migrants who came to the US as children known as dreamers from deportation. Wow. So there, guys, from my maths, you've got 1.8 million people. So this could be what, again, this is just my maths, guys. You, they could have had there an extra 1.8 million votes just by letting illegal people vote. Is that fair? Is that what should happen? I don't know. I don't live in America. But what I do do is I live in the world and I see these things happening and I see what's going on around in the world and I'm looking at this and thinking, is this a vote scam? Uh, this announcement, yeah, we've done that. On Monday, so yesterday, senior administration officials said that undocumented spouses of US citizens would qualify, wow, would qualify if they'd lived in the country for 10 years and been married, well, and been married as of 10th, the 17th of June, yeah. So what I said previously about them, can they get married now? You can't, they have to have been married, I think as of, well, they may need to have been married on the 17th of June. So yeah, yesterday, so it counts that everyone who thinking, who's thinking like I'm thinking, it counts them out. Those who qualify will have three years to apply for permanent residency and will be eligible for a three-year work permit. I don't know if, how the voting works in the UK. On average, the White House believes that those eligible for the process have been in the US for 23 years. A majority have been born in Mexico. They will be paroled in place, allowed to remain in the US while their status is changed. Numbers USA, an organisation that advocates for tighter immigration controls, slammed the new policy as unconsciousable. The organisation's chief executive, James Massa, said that Massa, that doesn't sound like a very American name, said in a statement, rather than stopping the world's worst border crisis in history, President Biden has overreached his executive authority to use unconstitutional progress circumventing circumventing voters and their elected representatives in Congress to send a message that amnesty is available for those who enter illegally into the United States. You can't disagree with that, guys, right? If you have laws that say what's legal entry into a country, you have to abide by them. Otherwise, what's the point in having them? You might as well just get rid of them and say, yeah, whatever. Yeah, just come. 
because we have a similar system in the UK where, you know, we are having like thousands of people come to the UK on, you know, on however, you know, mostly on boats at the, uh, at the southern border. And we, you know, they're, they're not coming here illegally. They're not going through the proper checks and balances. You know, there's all sorts of stuff coming out in the media about people bringing weapons and narcotics over, you know. And the reality is, I would like a country where at least we know who's coming in. And I actually think, my personal opinion, is we immigration is a good thing. But what we've got at the moment it isn't immigration, it's just mass influx of people. And I, I, I don't know why. But anyway, guys, the article goes on. I think that's kind of going to be the end of it. I don't think anything. I think they're just waffling now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is this just a vote winner for Biden? Is he trying to get an extra 500,000 votes? Or is it a good thing? You know, people have been there in the United States. They've lived there for over 10 years. They're married. They've probably got kids, you know. So is this a good thing? Or is he just a vote winner? I don't know. You know, I guess I can probably argue both sides. You know, side one, um, hey, we need to get more, more votes. What can we do? Uh, let people that are here illegally, let them vote and then they'll vote for us because they get the choice. And also, you know, hey guys, I've been here for 10 years. I've got an American, I've got an American wife. We've got kids. We've got a house, X, Y, and Z. You know, I should have that ability. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully that'll be it for today, guys. I'm going to mag to grid.